Customers have told us that where we have a die to make their part or can modify a die, it's great. But where we don't and their volumes aren't high enough or their design isn't stable enough, they're unwilling to commit to the cost of a die. So it was them who pushed us to get into flexible manufacturing. Our most recent acquisition was a Trump Schumatic 1000. It's a brand new CNC laser punch combination machine, the first in Canada. The punch laser combination machine can perform many features in a single operation, including punching, laser cutting, tapping, bending, extruding, and more. Our nesting software allows us to combine more than one part on a given sheet, increasing yield and reducing cost to the customer. We typically cut galvanized steel and cold roll steels because that is what our customer demands, but we have and have the ability to cut uh, stainless steel, copper, aluminum, uh, pre-painted and pre-plated steels even. The parts that come off the laser are generally flat. Uh, that could be the finished product, but it might require bending. Laser cut parts that require bending are done typically on a press break. We have many progressive dies that blank out the part but don't do the bending because volumes would not justify such a complex die. So those dies blank out the part and then they have to be bent. CNC press brake is ideal for that. We have several, uh, one of which is an Amada CNC press brake, which allows us to bend a number of different uh, bends and different sequences, different depths and configurations in a very efficient manner. In cases where a modification to the progressive die or a secondary piercing die could not be justified, an unexpected benefit of the laser was whereby we take 12 of the plaster frames, we mount them on a jig on the CNC laser, program in the hole requirement, and finish the parts on the CNC laser, cutting any hole that the customer requires. The difference between a CNC fab shop that has a laser and no stamping capability is that with them, as the numbers increase, they'll be happy to just keep making the part and making lots of money. Whereas with us, we'll be the first to tell the customer that they're wasting their time and investing in a die would more than pay for itself the reduction of part cost. 